no intro today. I'm just getting right into it. Say, bro, I'm telling all the kids, don't use drugs, bro. I'm getting tired of seeing motherfuckers on interviews, do songs, get on collabs, do all this extra stuff, and then promote drugs like it cool. Now, here's my thing, right? If you do drugs, that's just what you do. All right, that's just what you do. But one thing I don't like is when I hear motherfuckers say, don't do drugs, kids, but then you don't explain to them why not to do the damn drugs. Because if you tell a kid don't do something, you already know what they're going to do. They're going to want to do it because in their mind, they're wondering, well, why can't I do it? Why why can't I do what you're telling me to do, right? That's just like if you told your daughter she couldn't date black dudes, but you never explain why you didn't want her to date black dudes. Guess what she going to do? She going to go outside. She going to get real curious and then... Whoop, bow, she gonna get hit with it quickly. You feel me? And trust me, sometimes this ain't what you think it is, fam. Sometimes she might end up doing some things that she ain't wanna do. Now she calling you from a jail cell saying that little Ray Ray made me put this in between the middle of my body and told me if I say anything, he will come in for y'all too. Okay? So you gotta be able to tell the kids, hey, don't do this because of this. And guess what? I am here to tell y'all why y'all shouldn't be doing drugs. Now, it all started when I was a little. When I was finna say when I was a little boy. But I don't like the word boy. You know, because back in the day. Hey, boy, come here. I, ain't, I, ain't, I never liked that shit. I never liked somebody saying boy. So, I'm not going to do it. So, it all started when I was a youngin'. You feel me? Riding down the road. And then, like I told y'all, for my OGs, bro. I'm just recapping off a story because this is serious. When I was riding down that bike, I mean, riding on my bike, and I seen that white dude, I knew he was a junkie. Everybody in the hood knew he was a junkie, fam. You know what I'm saying? You know they junkies when they go around, and it's not for everybody, but you just know. So when I speak on this, don't be like, oh, he talking about that. No, I'm just saying, bro, like, you know. All right? You know they be a junkie. When when they be riding around on their little bike, cutting grass, washing cars and shit. This nigga go out, he clean your car out and shit. You never see nobody get him no money and be like, and if they do, he going straight to the dope man. Like, yeah, like junkies, you feel me? So we all knew folk was a junkie, right? I seen this dude and another guy was, was a black guy, right? And the old boy was a junkie, was white. Now, that's no knock to the white community because I love my white folks, you know. I see them going to the woods and in my mind, I'm thinking like, oh, okay, he finna, to, he finna to give folk, you know what I'm saying, some of that good, good, you feel me? Well, the good, good he ended up giving him was not the good, good I thought he was going to get him. Kids, don't do drugs. Well, why, Key? Because you might be in the woods on your knees giving the top up. I said it. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. White dude in the woods on the knees giving the top up for that good, good. For that, for them drugs. See, these are things people don't tell you. You think it cool because they in the music video, sipping the lean. Talking about how they be popping pills and talking about this and talking about that. I'm on that Waukesha. I'm on that walk hard. Yeah, that can sound cool. So you find out you get on that walk hard. Yeah, can't go to that bathroom, bitch. Right? It sound cool. So you yeah, get on drugs and you get hooked, bitch. Now you in the woods on your knees. Walk, walk, walk. Going hard for the... Man, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. All right, this, I'm, bro, I'm finna tell y'all stuff that they ain't telling y'all, bro. Drugs is a very addicting thing. If you ain't doing it, don't do it to try to make yourself seem cool. Okay? Don't. It was a woman. I'm not even gonna say her name. She used to ride a bike all the time. Okay? Now, from the outside looking in, if you didn't know her, you would be like, Bro, why would you even say that about her? Because it was true. We all knew she used to be on that dope. Don't get up here and sit up here and act like you didn't know. 
because she used to be. Okay? Now, she was a low-key dope head. Okay? She 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 was just do her thing and, 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 and get ghosts. But the thing is, ever since I was little until now, she's still on the same ish. Okay? When you start doing stuff like that, please don't think that people around you ain't looking at you and already gave you a label. Well, Key, I just, I just be smoking on that gas. I just smoke on that gas. Well, guess what, motherfucker? Guess what? 80% of you babies who smoke that gas gonna venture off to other drugs. You don't, you don't, you don't believe me, do you? They said that marijuana is the gateway drug. I never believed that until I hit the gateway. Because I hit the gateway and I said, wait a minute. um, well, It's a fence. That's a gate. That's a big ass gate. Then the gate opened and said, you want to get higher? And I was like, oh, wait. What, what, uh, what you got? What, what, what's up? What's up? Like, well, I thought it was just that guy. Nah, nah, bro. Come inside the gate. Well, don't mind if I do. I went right inside the gate, bitch. Now, when you go inside the gate, okay, this is the gateway, right? Because a lot of y'all going to start smoking gas first. Okay, you and your little homeboys, he done took some gas from his big, he done took some gas from his big uncle, Tyrone. All right? He, he ain't take a lot, though. No, nah, he... He only took a little bit, okay? Then, it always gonna be that one dude in the group who a little older than y'all, who know how to roll up. Y'all don't know how to roll up. It's always that one dude who been doing shit and he was little. And he was the, probably the one that took the gas from his Uncle Tyrone, okay? He gonna roll that bit up. All this gonna seem real intriguing to y'all. Y'all gonna blow down. It's gonna be, listen to me, it's gonna be one of the best highs you ever had because you ain't never had a high. Or it could be one of the most scariest highs you ever had. Because you never had a high, fam. It's always going to start with the gas. Always. Then, after a while, you've been smoking. You've been smoking. You've been smoking. Y'all doing the same shit over, 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 over. Next thing you know, the gateway comes. Okay? Because a lot of times, it's going to be different people you get introduced to. See, I'm, I'm listen to me. I'm breaking this down for y'all because it, people ain't telling y'all this, bro. Here come the gateway. The gateway gonna open. That's new people. They gonna be like, hey, bro, I got some new. What you got, bro? Man, bro, I got the pill, bit. I got now. Now a lot of times it's the next step gonna be pills, bit. I'm I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Listen to me. The next step, nine times out of ten, bit. When you smoking that gas, bit. That next step gonna be pills. I'm trying to tell you. Boy, I got some pill, boy. boy what you got, boy? boy? I got some perk, bit. I got some perk, bit. I got some sticks. Boy, I got some motherfucking beans, boy. You want some beans, boy? boy I got some Adderall, bit. I got some Adderall, too. You know, even though Adderall, you, they're really for, like, you know what I'm saying, people, like, who really, like, you know what I mean? But we just take Adderall, just could, you know what I'm saying, keep you up. It's like an upper. You know what I'm saying? So I got some uppers, I got some downers and shit. I got some KFO. What KFO? But you don't know what KFO is, but hell not. But they like that morphine. But you got morphine, bitch? Hell yeah, yeah, but I thought they only sell that in the, I mean, I thought they only give that in the hospital. Nah, down here, for we call it KFO, folks. We got, in Louisiana, we call it KFO. So it got the K4. But what what K4 do? Man, but K4 have you feeling like like you like you a pop it, right? And then they gonna have you kinda like going in and out like that a little bit. But like like when you wake up, like when it hits you, it kinda like it's like waves or like I don't know how to explain it, man. You gonna have to take that motherfucker. Like like you don't be not not sleep, bro. But it like it make you feel good, bitch. Then it's like something hit you like a wave. It's like, ooh, boy, I'm talking about hey. Hey, then, bro, don't, bro, you smash on this shit, boy? Man, look, them beans I gave you, too? Hey, them motherfuckers had you up, bitch, and them beans gonna have you going all night, bitch. Like, you you trying to smash your girl all night, bro? Pop a bean, bro. I'm telling you right now, bro, you gonna put her ass up under, you hear me? 
You gonna put her as a funder? Well, what the sticks do to you? Well, man, that the, 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 the sticks just fire. The sticks just fire. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. I won't. Right, well, yeah, let me try something. That's how I start, right there. What he didn't tell you was the side effects. It side effects everything that you do, fam. Because that K4 is going to have your ass in there now. Them sticks going to have your ass forgetting everything that you have done, said, or anything typed to anybody, bro. I'm telling you right now. You can fuck around, had a stack of money in your pocket, you done lost it, woke up the next morning, money gone. Money gone. You hear me? It, it side effects to everything that's going on, bro. What they don't tell you is the things that can happen to you once you start doing the drugs. Oh, because it's things that happen to you, right? Because you already hit the gateway. Now you got introduced to the pills. Okay? Now you're getting a different high. You're still going to be blowing down on the gas. You're still going to be blowing down on the gas, fam. Then next thing you know, that high ain't going to be that high no more. Then you're going to start hearing new terminology from different people. You're going to start meeting old heads. You're going to start meeting young bucks. You're going to start meeting different people who is in your field of play. Okay? Because in the beginning, when you were just a good boy, a good girl, you know, going to school, learning, doing this, doing that, you were just in the field of play of those people. Once you just jumped off that porch, now you start to meet different people that do things that you never thought they did. Then once you get around, you say, what? I ain't know that you. Shit, I ain't know that you, but I've been doing this. I just started doing what well, come on over here. Come on, come now, nah, come on. Now nah, he cool, folk. Now nah, he cool. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Now you finna get introduced to different type of people, right? The people that you finna get introduced to is people who've been doing things that you ain't never been doing and they know you green. So now you got either somebody that's finna use you. And I'm talking about for this. Nigga they ain't gonna use you for your money. Use you if you got a car bit. Use you for, like it, bro. They gonna use you because they know you green. All right, you 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 still in the gateway. You entered the gateway and that bit closed, right? Or you might have some people that just really rock with you, but they ain't giving you the game like they should, so they still allowing you to do it, right? After you get introduced. To the pill bit down south. If you if you down if you a down south baby, next thing you gonna get introduced to a bit is that lean bit. You gonna get introduced to the lean. You gonna get introduced to that drink. You gonna get introduced to that double cup. All right. Now you done seen all these rappers double cupping. Some of them ain't even sipping lean, bitch. That's juice in they cup. They just make it seem like it lean. Because that's what you kids like to... That's what y'all like to hear about. That, Like, if, if it ain't got nothing to do with... Dumb stuff. Violence. Female shaking it. Right? Nowadays... uh, uh On Facebook, the ex... Money, car, clothes. If it ain't got nothing to do with that, fam. Jury. Ain't nobody trying. That, that pole, that shit. You see all them young dudes now, bro? See how, like, all the young dudes in, in the football games, they acting like they shooting at you. They, they done pulled it up off their hip, bitch. Like, like, that. That's what y'all like to see, though. If it ain't that, it ain't nothing, right? Oh. Okay. Well, let me get back to my story. Next thing you're going to introduce to is that drink. Because you've seen it. You've seen the rappers drink and drink. You've seen uh, your big homie drink and drink. And you want to try drink and drink. That's what you want to try. Then you get introduced to it. Then you start sipping. Now, when you start sipping... That high is going to be a different high than the gas in the pills. Tell me I'm lying. Now you have entered chasing the dragon. Well, what's chasing the dragon, Keith? See, they never told you about this. All you knew was that you could just get high. 
You don't even know what chasing a dragon is. Now you chasing it. Well, Keith, can you tell me what, what chasing a dragon is? Yes, yes, I can. I, I am the new dare. Just say no, just say no. I am the new dare. I will not fail you, okay? Listen to me. Listen, listen to me. Chasing the dragon is when you get habit, and for that first time, that high you had is going to be the best high of your life. The first time you ever do that drug is going to be the best high you ever had in your life. Baby, you my everything. You know all I ever wanted. We can do it real big. Bigger than you ever done it. We be up on everything. Come on. And when I call, you know I'm a get up. And when I write down, what? You the best I ever had. Best I ever had. You going to be saying Drake. That's chasing the dragon. Because that's going to be the best high you ever had, fam. Well, I still don't get it. Hold up. I ain't done. Because once you have that high, why do you think you want to continue to get high? I think I get it, Keith. Shut up. It ain't your time to talk. You want to know why you continue to get high? Because now you chasing that high that you had for the first time. You would never get that again. You chasing a dragon, fam. You was chasing that dragon. For real, for real. You done chased the dragon all the way to dragon, dragon land, nigga, on dragon tails, nigga. You done rubbed the little, you done rubbed the little shell. I wish, I wish with all my heart. To get high like the first time in the land of part, you rubbed it. Then you done went over here with the dragon tail niggas and shit. Because you chasing the dragon. Because you want to get high. That's chasing the dragon, man. You're going to be chasing like a motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't going to be on that track meet. Feel running. Chasing the dragon. I know y'all don't believe me. But you need to. These are things that they not telling you, fam. All right, could get what if you ain't graduated? Could you go graduate? You mean like cap and gown key? Hell no, I'm talking about the gateway, bit. I'm talking about graduation on the drugs. If you listen to me, you gonna graduate, but if you ain't graduate, let me start right there and give you the side effects. Because you start drinking that drink. And you gonna realize. Man, dang, why my stomach hurting? I can't use the bathroom. Bro, how long it been since you used the bathroom, bitch, man? It been about like two weeks, bitch. Two weeks. Yeah, bro, I don't know. What you been doing? Bro, I just be like. Bro, all I do, bro, like, like what you mean? I be like, you on drugs or something? Or you be, I know, come on, bro. I know you smoke that gas, but, but you do anything else? Man, I be on the beans. Sometimes I be on the sticks. Sometimes I do be on the perks. I ain't gonna lie. Damn, bro. I be on the drink. Oh, yeah, see? There you go right there. What? The perks in the drink, bitch. Yeah. They, they, they do something to your bowels. You can't use the bathroom for real, bro. Hell yeah, yeah. Then you, then you tell them like, man, maybe just like lay off this shit for a little bit. All right, bro. All right, all right, all right. Couple of days go by. These niggas sick because they ain't got the drugs. Oh, it will make you sick. Yeah. You ain't gonna be able to function. Listen to me. When I say you ain't gonna be able to function. You been doing something so long next thing you know your ass having withdrawal so goddamn bad, then you having seizures. You in here having seizures and you ain't never had seizures, nigga. Tell me, I'm lying. I had a homeboy, this nigga used to have seizures all the goddamn time. When we were a little kid, that nigga ain't never had seizures, nigga. Not that I know of. We get older, we start chasing the dragon. Get what? Seizures. Nigga, nigga was on that drink. Nigga was on that drink. Nigga couldn't use the bathroom. Nigga get off the drink. 
Nick can't function. Nigga like a whole robot in here. Damn, fuck you good, bro. I don't know what's going on, bro. I'm just, damn. You stressing, bitch. For real. All right? Now, let's say you continue to chase the dragon. Now, you running down. You running down the back of the dragon back, bitch, like Goku when he died. Trying to go see Master Roshi and shit. You just running. Next thing you know, <laughs> you gonna start getting introduced to harder drugs, fam. All right? You gonna start getting introduced to harder drugs. We ain't even got to drinking. That's a whole another ball game, fam. Because a lot of times you start drinking when you was young because you seen your dad and them and they had that six pack or that 12 pack or that 24 pack. And, you and, you, and they allowed you and your little partners to stay the night. And y'all snuck in there and then drunk that beer and started throwing up and shit and got caught. That's a different story. We on dare right now. This is dare class. Sit down somewhere, man. Sit down somewhere, man. And goddamn me, get your pen, your paper, get, 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 get your notepad, get it, get it ready. You feel me? Because I'm letting you know right now, man, what, what it can happen to you. Why everybody running around there be promoting it. You feel me? We finna put a stop to that shit. Melt the ass. Hey, come on now. For real. So, you graduate. Alright? You start fucking with the hard shit. Like, shroom. You wanna get a psychedelic high? You might fuck around. You from the bottom bottom. You might fuck around. Start fucking with that hair on. You should. You feel me? Some call it that. That that fool. You feel me? You might you might want to start messing with the white girl. You feel me? Some some call it. You might want to start messing with that girl. You might want to start messing with that boy. Okay. Now that boy was that first one I said. You me? Dog food is something else. Yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe, because they terminology from what other people from, they they might call it dog food, and then from people I hear, they call it that boy. All right. So once you get to that level of of chasing the dragon, you wanna start doing glass. You wanna start doing girl. You want to start doing that boy. That's when you meet the people that I had talked about in the beginning of my story. The white boy who done fucked around and went into the woods and started giving up that dope. That's when you start meeting people like the woman I told you who used to ride her bike through the hood all the time and you do and you knew she was on it. That's when you start meeting people like the person that I was back in the day. When I had drowned twice into the tub. That's when you start meeting people. When you start seeing people who be on the side of the road. And you wonder to yourself. How did they get like that? Because they was on that boy. That girl. That dog food. Whatever you want to call it. And they couldn't shake back. But let me give you the real. Let me give you the real. This the real. And I'm black fam. So. A lot of people who black, they don't want to say that they was on, on that ice. They don't want to say that they was on that boy. They don't want to say that they was on that. Now, they'll say they, they was on that girl. They'll say they was on that girl quicker than they'll say anything else, right? But I am a living testimony to it. This is why I'm trying to tell y'all and trying to warn y'all, fam. Because that's that high will be the best high of your life. Okay? That high is better than smoking that gas. It's better than doing pills. It's better than drinking that lean. And and if you watching this right now and you say, boy, you stupid as hell. Boy, you stupid as hell. How can you say that when you ain't never done it in your life? And no, I want you to answer that. 
If you got on here right now and said, I'm stupid as hell for saying what I just said. And you ain't never done it in your life. Shut Because I'm telling you right now, fam, from somebody who's done it. Out of everything I ever done was the best high of my life. But I don't care if you young, super young, my age, old. I don't care. I'm going to keep it real. It was the best high of my life. All right. But I got to tell you that for me to get to you to break down the other part. Because even though it was the best high of my life, it was also the worst high of my life. Because it almost ended my life. But that's what people not telling y'all. People not telling y'all that the things that you put in your body, the things that you consume could kill you, man. It could kill you. All right. You want to be high so bad because you see it on TV. You see people doing it. You see this, you see that. But then once you get high and then you realize that people only around you because you high, people only around you because you got money to get high. When you fall, and trust me, 60 to 7% of y'all going to fall. You see, I didn't say 100. Well, why didn't you say 100, Key? Because I know a lot of people who was on that and got off of it and, and, and turned their life around. So 60% is going to fall, fam. It's only going to be 40% that, that really make it up out of that. You know what I'm saying? But that 60%, when you fall, don't think that those same people that you was getting high with, fam. Don't think that your mama and your daddy and your cousins and them going to come to your rescue after you done lied. After you done stole from these people. After you done cheated on your old lady. After you done burnt your mama out of all her money just to go get high, bit. After they done bailed you out of jail 80 million times, bit. Just because you got a drug addiction. After they done tried to put you in a home and you didn't want to listen, you didn't go to that home. You 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 made up an excuse why you had to get out and went back and got high. Don't think when you fall, fam, they're not coming to help you. Especially if they already tried to help you in the past. But these are things that people are not telling you. The all these rappers, all these dudes who promoting this right here, bro, this is what they're not telling you. What they're not telling you is the stress that comes behind it, the depression that comes behind it. The withdrawals that come behind it. The body aches that come behind it. The suicidal thoughts that come behind it. They're not telling you this. They're just telling you all oh, how good it is and how you going to feel. And woo, woo, woo. Nah, bro. Nah, y'all got to stop doing that. Because y'all leading the kids down the wrong road at a young age, bro. At a, at a, and I'd be damned if somebody lead my child down the road like that, bro. Well, key, they your kids, bro. You they daddy. Woo, 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 in the third. But it's social media out here, bro. It's social media out here, bro. You feel me? I ain't around my kids 24 7, fam. I got to work too. So, so what my kids consume off social media affects their life too. And I'd be damned if if my kids get affected by something like that. I'm telling all the kids, don't use drugs. Boy, you ain't no firecracker. You a dud. Yellow will hit that when he said that. I'm telling all the kids, don't use drugs. Boy, you ain't no firecracker. You a dud. Come on, man. Come on, man. Understand what I'm telling y'all, man. Understand what it means about chasing the dragon. Understand where you can end up if you make that decision. Because even though I'm making this video right now, a lot of y'all will still be influenced by your peers, by social media, by entertainers. Y'all still will be in a, y'all still will be in that um, mind state of where whoever influenced you in life you're gonna try to follow what they're doing and at that moment it's gonna be the best thing you ever had 
but you never know where that road can lead you. You never know the trials and tribulations to where that could lead you. Some of y'all out here, bro, are, are some good kids, man. Don't let, don't let social media and dudes thinking it, telling you that it's cool or showing you like, okay, yeah, I'm out here with the stick. I'm out here with the pole. I'm out here selling drugs. I'm out here doing this. I'm a gangster. I done been in prison. I'm this. I'm that. Don't let those dudes or those women influence you to think that that's cool because what they didn't tell you was how much time that they lost either due to the system, either how much time they lost because of sleep. They can't, they can't just go to the store, go in that motherfucker, put 40 on point five, get them a bag of Skittles, some hot chips, and a cold drink, a motherfucking pop, because we say pop up north. They can't go in there, get them a pop, without him still having to put their they head on a swivel, because they ops might be in the store ready to shoot them. They can't do that, fam. They can't do that. Don't think that shit cool because once you get in a situation that you know you ain't built for, now you tuck your tail and you running. You was never ready for none of that. You was never ready to, to start getting high doing drugs, fam. You, you, was, you was never ready to jump in that water. Why didn't you just continue to do you? Don't be something that you not just because either your friends or your peers or people you see on TV doing. Don't, don't, don't do that, fam. Why you following? Why you not leading, man? You hear me? Why, why is you following? Why you not leading, fam? You see what I'm saying? Like, if it took you all the way to get to college, now you want to start smoking gas, you tripping. You tripping. We was doing that when we were 14, 15 years old. You tripping. See what I'm saying? All of a sudden you get to college, now you want to start doing drugs. You tripping. You tripping. Don't do that. If you weren't doing drugs when you were younger, don't do that. Just do you. Just do you. All right? Look, man, one last for three things, man. God is knowledge and wisdom. And if it ain't that, man, I already know what time it is with me over here. Till next time. Or oh, now, just say no. Just say no. Just say no. Just say no. I'm the new dead man. I, I am the new dead man. I'm the one who pull up to your school, make y'all the last sit out in the auditorium. Make your ass sit down and watch my YouTube. And just say no. Because the dead man back in the day failed all of us. The dead man back in the day failed like 80% of us. Because 80% of us were getting high, man. The other 20 had went on and went to college and did, did with their life. And, you know, occasionally drank. The 80% of us, we, we, we were getting high babies. We was outside getting high babies. You hear me? For real, for real. Man, I appreciate everybody watching my video, man. I appreciate everybody just rocking with the kid, man. I told y'all I was going to be, you know what I'm saying, tapped in more with y'all, man. Um, just, you know, my schedule has changed again. And, um, you know, you never know. It might change again. Uh, you know, I'm just uh, I'm just kind of going with the um, with the flow of the water. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, um, I'm going with the flow of the water, but I'm making the flow. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm making my own flow with my paddle. You know, and uh, but I'm going with that current, you know. And and if I get to that fork in the road, you know, uh, that's when I pray to God and I just ask for for you know, the best the best route for me. Whatever the best route for me is, I'm taking that route. Because at the end of the day, I gotta provide for me and my family. You know what I'm saying? So uh, this is heavy on my heart, man. To get on here and just let y'all know that uh. Sometimes it's like, bro, you got to lead. You can't follow. You know, and, and you see how I said sometimes. I didn't say all the time because sometimes you have to follow to learn how to be a leader. But understand the people that you follow. Okay. Make sure that the people that you follow can give you, give you game. If you can't learn nothing 
from somebody. If you can't take a piece of game from somebody to better yourself, if you can't take something that somebody give you and, and sharpen your skills, that's not somebody to follow. If all you do all day is hang around this dude, trap, and sell dope, the only thing he taught you was street smarts. He he ain't teach you nothing else. He didn't teach you nothing else, fam. All right. Be mindful of the people that you follow because you have to be a follower before you can be a leader. Understand that all the great leaders was followers at one point in time. You have to follow somebody. It just depends on who you follow. Like I always tell y'all, man, make sure you stay on your P's and Q's, man. Make sure your head stay on the swivel. And at the end of the day, we're going to constantly put our foot on their neck. And if they say they can't breathe, but we'll apply more pressure. We're going to get you up out of here. I'm just keeping the beam, dog. For real, for real.